Hello everyone, this is Iriador. Welcome to my brand new Let's Play series, Iriador's Vault. What I will show you here follows no specific plan. All I do is basically just for fun. I'm neither a design perfectionist or redstone guru, but a regular player that yeah tries his best at both. Um, I watch a lot of Let's Plays along with some less popular and a lot of the ideas I have for Iriados Vault uh, stem from there and uh, from my personal gaming experience with Minecraft. I played the game since um, April 2011. So I started with Minecraft Beta 1.5 or so. I played the game in single player and multiplayer too. I owned a server with a bunch of friends on it, which was a lot of fun. But I always felt the need to have some more players around to get ideas, do things, and um, yeah, or at least find a bunch of guys to sing praises to the stuff I built. Um, so I searched for a server that would offer me that, along with the vanilla version of Minecraft, because I enjoy this the most, um, which led me right here, uh, where I am in the spawn village of the Aurora server. Um, I applied and got added to the whitelist like three weeks ago and um, I'm still settling in as you will see at some later point here. Um, the guys on the Aurora server have been really really helpful, be it advice, good ideas or just hilarious night filling conversations on TS. I can only advise everyone to give it a try. But back to topic, um, the series will generally take place here at the Aurora server or in my Let's Build world. I might also have a single player world for it in the future, but uh, let's just see how it goes. Yeah, this is my mention for it, uh, for in the spawn village. <laughs> Nothing fancy, but it suits my needs. Okay, then head back to my uh, base. And here we are. <laughs> Seamless transition, as you might have seen. Um, I built a base made out of quartz, which took me like three weeks or so uh, of mining quartz in the nether. Um, for your uh, information, I am uh, working all day and in the evening I enjoy Minecraft and at the weekend, of course. As you can see, I lit the place up pretty much. Um, wide area around this lake here, which is the focus point of everything, and I will build here around uh, the area here. Um, the base I constructed in um, uh, in a creative mode and then build it here on the server. Um, as you can see, people were gracious enough to uh, give me a beacon, or I was uh, with them when they killed the wither and uh, my good buddy Josh gave me the beacon then or the nether star and um, I took uh, the opportunity to build a nice pla uh, place around it. Um, I terraformed the mountain a little and uh, put a nice garden up out here. I'm still not completely uh, satisfied with the outside though. Um, I will think of something here, I think. Um, but anyway, around here um, we have uh, another mountain. Um, this side is just fake. I will show you in, at some later point. Um, but it should look like it's yeah built from an actual mountain. Which it is, but not as big as it is now. Okay, um, down there um, we have a couple of farms I will show you. On oh, FYI, this is this is the beacon, consisting mainly out of uh, gold blocks, um, because we have a nice and decent gold farm here, and the iron is used for much more recipes than gold is. <coughs> um, so I decided to build it mainly of gold blocks. Josh gave me the tip uh, to um, get gold blocks because it's much easier and takes much less that of a time than uh, having I the iron farm producing the iron. Okay, as you can see I have built here a little hut. This was my very first um, building here um, to get started. I built a shaft here which goes right down to bedrock level 
Um, and I have my, main, my mines down there. This was a little more cramped with chests and everything and a couple of furnaces. Um, they have all gone out up to there, to my base. And yeah, um, here I have some uh, most, most, most basic farms. Uh, like the wheat farm, it's, uh, yeah, it's just enough to produce like around 30 wheat or so in a row. And here I have, um, yeah, I think Aurora would call it uh, a cow orgy. <laughs> and here over there I have a little automated tree farm, um, which is kind of good. Panda, for, exam for example, uh, guy of our server, uh, really like that. I built one for him too. Um, it's I can show you how it works. It's just very, very basic. You put the sapling here and the butt switch triggers and then it shoots bone meal out at it. And after a while... Take some time. Here we go. And the tree gets pushed and you can just place the next sapling in there without having to cut off the, the leaves or anything, if, just if you want uh, another sapling. And it goes again. <coughs> and uh, this extends to here, like 12 blocks or so. Uh, I think the maximum that can be pushed with a single piston. And um, yeah, works pretty good. Um, I usually stick for going out of the forest. I have a nice little forest biome over here um, and it extends uh, quite a lot and uh, trees are much more easier to get there. Okay, I have a sheep pen also over here which is not a big deal, still no colors beside light gray and, and white, um, but we will work on that in time. But now, here we have it. You might wonder why this series is called Iriados Vault. Um, and um, this is the explanation, this is the vault. I hold out the mountain pretty much and um, this was mainly to uh, hide all the redstone creations I do. Uh, because most of the redstone creations aren't that beautiful. Some are, um, but, or can be, if you have hidden the, the, the worst parts, um, but um, most of them are not as nice to look at than uh, yeah, the usual designed landscape and everything. And this little um, thing here is where we will build our wheat farm. This will be uh, what we do here in the next uh, few minutes. Um, because I have a big big need of wheat, because everything uh, that gives me leather and uh, gives me wool, so the sheep and the cows uh, need a lot of wheat. Um, but thankfully this design can be applied to almost everything that can be planted, uh, like um, like netherwort or carrots or potatoes and wheat. Uh, and this can all be planted here and you can, um, this will have a lot of floors and you can basically put each type on each floor, so you would have a big uh, mix of vegetables raining down on you when you hit the button. Okay, uh, so I guess uh, we should be switching over to my Let's Build world. And here we are. This is my Let's Build world. Um, as you can see, I already prepared a little bit. Uh, you see a sign over here, a button over there, this tunnel and everything, which is not already there in the server world. Um, but it doesn't need to be. This we will do step by step. Um, as you can see, I extended the framing here, put some glass blocks down there, and filled in some water in here, right at the fourth block from the longer side here and build a little tunnel which will be used for the wiring. This goes right under the block where the button resides so it can get powered. So I think we should just start with the progress here. Um, this here is a little trench for the water which will be flowing in here. This will transport the wheat or whatever vegetable you want to 
um, plant here, um, right to this point. This will be our collecting spot. We can also set up a hopper here. Um, the whole thing works with a dispenser that has a water bucket in it and then it will spill out in all directions and flush all the weed right out. Here we will have a little entrance uh, where we can put a ladder to the side and ascend here and go to each floor and then just collect our stuff or replant our stuff to say. Um, this here will be for the wiring. It will go up here to the next floor and down there to the start button. This of course can be can be done differently. Uh, you can have the start button on the other side as well, which would take much 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 less effort because you would have to dig out the trench and do not have to put the wiring up here. You can just have a button that sits here and bam, it powers everything. Okay, so let's have a look at what the construction will look like when it's progressed some little more. As you can see, I used a hopper and a chest for this design. You could then cover everything here with, with blocks and have just this little block down here open for collecting the chest contents. Um, of course, it needs to be a half block or you cannot open the chest. Um, okay. What you can see down here is the wiring. It's very, very simple. It's just a line of redstone with a repeater here that the signal gets extended because it loses strength after a while and goes straight up here and connects over a, s over a little way, which you could see over there too. Uh, and then this blocks here um, right to a dispenser. In this dispenser, we have a water bucket and above there a block of glowstone to do the lighting. This could also be done with a couple of torches, of course, um, but the glowstone is much nicer and sheds a lot of light in all directions. Okay, um, over here you can see glass and certain holes in the glass and a couple of signs. What are these for, you might, you might uh, say? Uh, the signs are that the water doesn't extend all the way to here and connect to this water. Um, this goes for all of those signs. The holes are in there to get the wheat flushed out. I could concentrate on a single point, but this is much more difficult since uh, the wheat can get stuck in the, in the corners. And that's why we want to give them the most possible exits on all sides. In our wheat farm, we would later uh, just crop the fields here and plant our seeds. And um, over there is a little half slab that uh, prevents the water from flowing into our entrance. Here we would have a ladder, maybe, or here, uh, to go up on the next floor. By the way, the next floor. I already uh, scripted it a little bit, so you can see. Here would be the, the ceiling of this floor and here would be the ground of the next floor and so forth. Um, and this little block would be water, I couldn't fill it in because then, uh, yeah, <laughs> we would drown. Um, but I made an example of showing how the wiring would go. Um, here you can say here's the crossing where all those wires come together, the one from the button over there and the one to the, to the dispenser over here. And here goes the line that extends up. Uh, here's another repeater again. We need that occasionally to improve the signal to get it through to all floors. This just goes up the side. It's very, very easy to do. Uh, you could do this in all possible ways. You just have to be careful that it doesn't connect to something you don't want. That's why there's a step here and everything. At some later point, we won't see this anymore. We can just cover it up with, uh, with um, stone or whatever material you might prefer. And here, just the same on the next floor. Signal goes up, goes straight into the glowstone block as it appears but it powers the dispenser. And same thing for here, it just goes up and into the dispenser. And the occasional repeater, not to forget. Okay, um, 
Yeah, I'd say let's go over to our little place here and make the extensions I did here already. Okay, I suggest we start with the framing because if we don't, we might have water spilling out here. <laughs> like this and bucket of water over here over there then we need a couple of blocks for the wiring since we don't want to plant there and a dispenser that goes right here and the glowstone that will be sitting on top of it you just have to shift right click to place the block on the dispenser um, yeah and right here we will have a wall as here and here and all around here Whoa. Ah. this is just very very basic it's not real magic. You could have this much more, much more smaller and more uh, comfortable, as you might say. But you wouldn't get those amounts of wheat within just one single push. Okay, let's connect the dispenser here real quick. Just goes down. You can have any any sort of, of uh, yeah wiring you might want uh, this is just for uh, for the purpose of being easily accessible and goes all the way here and uh, let's place a water bucket in here to see if it works as it might work we'll push the button yeah and you see water is flowing out all right we can stop it again okay so about the glass yeah we will have glass on all certain points here and all, all kinds of points here this uh, this follows just the, the the pattern you have to apply everywhere there are you could even have signs all over the place and just have no glass blocks at all but it's much more easier when you plant the stuff that you cannot trip over here and fall into the water um, that's why we'll place blocks at the second level too okay then let's put the signs there like this and that Okay. Let's have our entry here. Okay. Then let's see. And as you can see, the water extends everywhere and it doesn't connect with the other water. This is just a glitch here. But as soon as we stop the flushing, ta -bam, water is gone. Okay, then let's extend this some more. Like this. And I'd say we extend this here just to the next level. means at least three blocks or four, four more likely. I came up with this farm a couple of months ago. I really don't know which or whoever did this design the first time. I, I really don't know. I just adopted it and found it was so easy to to do that it's just perfect for me um, because the there are some farms out there where you just have to place a single bit of weed for example 
and it will grow like oh this is wrong uh, and it will grow like hell and uh, but this is really not for me uh, because I want to have loads and loads of, of stuff in one in one trip I'm a very very lazy person at that <laughs> okay I think we're almost done okay so um, I go for having some more glass here because it looks just nice you could also if you build this outside do this whole thing out of glass uh, you would have the benefit to see actually how far your your plants are um, but that is not needed right now um, so we will just stick to the solid blocks here you will have uh, to leave uh, a bit open because um, this here is our main canal from from the upper levels so everything that will be flushed will be flushed here and transport it right there. So it will land all in this place. Okay, for the floor of the of the next of the next level you could use pretty much everything. Um, I go for cobble right now as I went for, for the other things as well because cobble is usually the stuff you have ready very very soon and it is not inflammable by lightning. Um, so I suggest uh, doing that with cobble but um, you could use every other block, especially when you're a little farther in the game. You might have some more, yeah, visually appealing blocks um, that you might use here. Okay, and um, just as we did here, you see there is a glass block under it, right there, and that's why we have to extend this here too. I will explain in no time. Um, the water usually travels like seven uh, or eight blocks, uh, eight blocks of course, um, but you have to stop at the seventh uh, that the water flows down, you know, because if it doesn't flow over the, the corner, uh, it won't, it will just stop at the block. Uh, if we put the block here, you see, it will just to extend, it will just extend to this block, but not farther. So let's just leave it at that and um, go on. Okay, um, yeah, let's cover this up some more. Have our next floor here. Oh, by the way, the creative world is set on peaceful, that we don't get nasty s surprises spawned. Um, when you build this, you might be good to, uh, it might be good to have the glowstone blocks first, because the light, level are, light levels are then pretty much okay. As you can see, it's light level 7 down here, this is not that good. You can place, of course, uh, a torch here in the corner for example, because it's completely free and it won't be flooded anytime soon. And over here, of course, too. Um, yeah, so the place is lit up very good. Um, I advise you to to have a to have a, a lighting up first before you ascend, because it's much easier. Or do it at broad sunlight. This is good too. Okay, then. Um, yeah, here yeah, I didn't think really about that uh, because half slab can't go here. We will just put a sign here and be done with it. Um, but I think I like this more. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, um, that's it for this. Um, you can, of course, place glowstone blocks here, which will certainly provide a certain amount of light, which also helps the weeds growing. Okay, um, by the way we can just plant some weeds that we have something to flush later on. Oh, diamond hoe. <laughs> um, yeah, where is the weed? Oh, I'm always searching for the weed. Here are the seeds. Okay, 
So let's just make this really quick. As you can see, the water is pretty sufficient to um, saturate fields here. And it goes just like that. You might cover this with uh, glass as well, because sometimes uh, you might break the, the redstone wiring when you're just crazy about planting here. And um, yeah. Okay, let's do the next floor. Piece of cake, actually. Uh, no, let's stick to the cobbles. And you will come out right just at the right height. Um, let's do the earth blocks first. They go right on top of these here. Just cover the whole thing. Like this. And then have some blocks here. water source again. Dispenser over here, close some block here. Okay, now that this is settled, we need a repeater. And some more redstone. Okay. Um, then, same procedure as down there. Water bucket here, water bucket there. We already did here the the flow. Ah, and here we are. <laughs> you see the first uh, seeds popping out there. This might not be a good sign. We might have forgotten something. But here you will just place a sign. As you can pretty much all the way up. Uh, this might be what we have forgotten actually. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> there you see it. Water has been flooding over there because we forgot the signs. I forget, forgot the signs. Yeah. Um, yes. Uh, yeah, and it won't stop now. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but we have still a couple of more going. Uh, this might be enough for showing you it works actually. If not, we can still grow it with some bone meal. Let's replant this here real quick. See, even with this easy peasy designs, you always can forget something and it just breaks everything. <laughs> Luckily enough, our redstone wasn't affected or anything else, so no big deal. Okay, then again, switching to the cobblestone. Here we are. As you see, the water transport already functions very good. Little cobblestone block is flowing down there. <coughs> and let's just cover this real quick. So. Nope. Okay, and then here go the signs. Some more light. Okay. Don't forget that one. Or you will have nasty surprises in your entryway here. <laughs> Um, yeah, um, this is just the same design as you saw down there. 
let's put a water bucket up here too and just for for having it easier we can just put a lever down here see if it works and it does let's just switch it off again no oh, we have to flick it on again because repeaters work a little different than this a button would have been better <coughs> okay and yeah this is how it progresses you can do this yeah to the <laughs> top of the world uh, I think we can stop at this point uh, making a show out of it and um, I will just put some letters in here and cover the building a little nicer so you can see what this is going for basic idea is to have the entrance here or even at the ceiling maybe like in my world uh, and you can ascend up and down here staircase would be nice and at the end you have a big big block of uh, yeah growing stuff okay um, yeah we have the signs up here and um, if we stand here and push the button as we will do now you see up there a line of water that is the dispenser over there and this is the dispenser over here and you just have to stand here and wait for your things to come and your inventory fills with seeds takes quite a while uh, you can even automate this with a, a little bit um, so you just don't have to stand there with a uh, that's a trap chest. Ah. Let's get a real chest. Doesn't, it shouldn't make a difference, but anyway, the hopper over there, and you place down the torch, and the hopper right next to it. Oh, and here we go. The hopper should always be pointing to the chest so that it gets filled up, and as you can see, or will see, just a couple of weeds over there they will fall into the hopper and end up in the chest yeah and if you're satisfied with the flow and everything you just push the button again and the and the dispenser stops you can then go over and uh, use your back entrance ah you see a little weed collects always here but nothing to be done about that um, of course you could just extend the ceiling a little bit and um, place a half slap down here because then items won't get stuck here but be transported in this here yeah and you can just go on now replanting your stuff and do this for every level here yeah we didn't even <laughs> even crop the thing here but um, yeah this is pretty much how it works and next thing is I will show you guys how this looks in my world Hello again, we are back at the Aurora server and as you can see I've made a little progress here. <laughs> I extended the construction to four floors and I used stone brick instead of cobblestone and put a little glass in here to see the growth or the status of the growth. Also I put down this button here which connects da -da -da, to the redstone wiring over here this goes pretty easy with just a couple of repeaters in there as uh, to extend the signal and it goes right into the glowstone block obviously but powers the dispenser right under it of course yeah this goes on like i said for four levels <laughs> and on the top level i went a little bit crazy here i did a glass house <laughs> out of the topmost floor and as you can see I planted potatoes and nether wart inside of course for the nether wart you have to use soul sand that it grows um, on the lower levels or the thirst uh, the th the th <laughs> sorry um, the, th uh, the floors abo uh, below it uh, there is wheat planted since it's not already that much grown I fear I cannot push the button right now to s to make it flush but as you can see I put some glowstone in here 
to make it look a little prettier and get the light level really high because uh, f uh, wheat is or always thankful for light. Um, yeah, um, I think this this is it. This is the whole construction. I hope you like it. Um, next episode, we sure gonna push that button and see how much wheat we get. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, and I hope um, you enjoyed it. And we will see each other in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.